how the party should be looked upon, how they look upon themselves, especially on why they lost this election, why they don't connect with the people, where they're not technically in, in connect and connection. Um, going back to Brandon Bryce, Brandon Bryce, I did credit Brandon for a lot of the things. And Brandon um, is definitely, definitely a leader up there. Yeah. He's definitely a thought leader. He's been featured on Hannity several times and on Fox News at other times. And I think that Brandon's one of those young leaders that, um, under the age of 30, I believe, and he is good education, has worked in politics previously, and he will be somebody that folks will hear of, not only now, but over the course of the years to come. So he's definitely one of those folks that's a thought leader within hip the hip-hop Republican movement. He's a thought leader within Harlem, where he's essentially located, and I think that he, along with others, are the type of folks that we need to bond with and talk to and continue to help each other grow. So Let me ask you, how do you get more Republicans, even Democrats, to consider looking at the urban community financially and getting them more connected politically? You have a lot of young Democrats, Republican, Independent, Green Party people. They, in the urban community, they don't like to dump money with us. And they continue to give it to the Democratic side and, and urban communities abroad. What would you say to someone in Detroit, uh, to someone in Chicago, and to someone in New York? I mean, what would you say to someone in Atlanta, in those urban communities? How do we get Republican, white Republicans, white Democrats, or just people who have the money to support African American candidates in those areas. African American Republican candidates. Yeah. Well, the the primary thing is to show them that we preach prosperity, and there's a way to increase your tax revenue through lowering taxes and making sure more people work. So, if you are able to articulate a message that allows you to show how you can increase revenue for for the government for taxes, for businesses for their profits, and for people for their households by increasing jobs okay. and decreasing the tax rate everybody wins the problem is republicans preach the tax cuts and don't preach why or don't do a, a good enough job of articulating why that affects urban america wow. we have to we have to put for example talk about incentives that will incent businesses to go back into the urban environments and create jobs where people can walk and take the bus and take the subway back and forth to work so that they can take that money back to their households they can be taxpayers right. they can go and build their personal wealth while allowing the business community and the community at large in the urban environments to reinvigorate themselves to be more prosperous for their residents. The, we don't do a good enough job. The current job administration has been talking about tax pool. I know me and Vic went back and forth on this. Vic is more of a specialist on this tax pool thing because he's been really following it. Um, I, I would love Vic to kind of share a little bit about his opinion on that one. But I, lo I love your take on what Vic's perspective is on the tax pool. Oh, yeah. You're going to throw me all on, under this conversation That's like I'm right. an expert. I'm not an expert. I just, you know, all I was, do, I, I was just paying attention to actually the, and I please ap I apologize for the uh, actual, I guess you can call it, it was a conference with the Republicans. It was a, 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 headed by Obama. Okay. And they were talking about the insurance tax pool as it relates to the history of it and how they actually decided to incentivize, I guess you can say, the insurance companies by giving them a dollar and 15 cents for every dollar they generated and thought that that would stimulate and then move down and help all those in the insurance pools. But they all said pools are there to exclude the elderly, those emergency situations. And they had a problem with that and they all agreed. And, and, and the part that got me more than anything else is that while they were having this conversation, you know, both sides, McCain, Republican, Obama, the whole group, I said, well, they all agreed that they actually supported the insurance companies and let them walk away with the profits and then admitted that you know the pool system always wow. excludes the emergency cases and the elderly right and how do we stop this pool system because we're forgetting about the middle right. class it's all about the top again which is not right right and, and why do you continue to help the top and the middle says nothing it, that's the part that gets me a little upset because, yeah. you know, all this hopey, changey stuff that was You're promised crazy. to us, that's a hopey lie, Danielle. And, and I it, told you those Democrats are a bunch of losers out there. Well, They're see, not educating themselves and fighting for the top establishment to provide for them. And this is one of the examples is the, this tax plan. As the war this, was a lie. Well, you know what? As the Republicans <laughs> lied to us on many things. Well, over right the now, last darling, 2010, two, we're not under a Republican two, regime. We are under a Democratic regime. that we had for Republicans. Nonetheless, we had to deal with it. I don't. I don't. I'm never gonna ever be for war. 
I'm not. That's just not how I'll, I just think there's always. You know, be and a I can respect solution. that. But we're not talking about what we're talking about what, taxes listen, right now. We're talking about the middle class well, tax people way. not being They're held accountable to, to the, the people class, on top. The middle class. And the fact that, that this administration is we continuing to forgetting about the people, and that's exactly why we have to have hip hop Republican people in I have a question. Accountable. I have a question. You know, we're talking about End taxes and health care. Well. And how are you going to pay for but, that health care? I keep asking By taxing you that. the people. I but keep then asking you said, what is, oh, what is your Republican tax the agenda? People. We're just going to give them free health care and not tell them to pay for it. Right. We'll just let China pay for everything. <laughs> China's going to take care of it. We'll all become black Chinese, <laughs> white Chinese, <laughs> so you know uh, you're wrong. Uh, Italian you Chinese. Better, you better, you better, Chinese you better get your tattoo on your shoulder, okay. Chinese. Chinese dollar. <laughs> no, but I mean, I on a serious it, point, the, the, the money at the top is not considering the tax pool that's going to be needed to offset this, what, almost $800 billion uh, deficit that we continue to put ourselves in. And I agree with you in the sense that Bush also partaked in that. And the current administration, well, this is about is, America, what is isn't the solution? it? That's what, that's what, well, that's according what the, to the Obama administration, the that's the solution. What is, what is the Republican solution? Because just okay, so you know... Okay, but this is not about the Republican no, listen, we, solution. They, no, no, they want to hear the side of the Republican solution. That's all. They just want to hear some ideas. That's what they're saying. They're like, we hear the Democrats, you know, side of it. You know, it has its issues and what have you. Do you guys have issues on that? You, you, you're saying that you have issues with it, but what? what it, let let us please this. tell us Lenny, because it's very difficult to articulate to Lenny, a lot of the people in the chat room. They just want to know. The ideas. What is? What is it? What well, are you there, guys bringing to there, the table? There are ideas definitely out there, and let me let me go to why you don't hear those ideas per se, and then let me go to the ideas themselves. What people don't understand about government is when you have by Robert's Rules of Order and how government has been constructed through law, lawyerese, if you will. When a minority group is in play in any legislative body, they don't usually have a voice. They don't dictate any subcommittees, any committees. They don't dictate the agenda. Therefore, they can raise an objection, they can bring an, an issue to the table, and it can still not be heard. And if it's not heard, it's not reported. If it's not reported, the perception is that this is the party of no and they don't have any ideas. Now, the reality is that the Republicans have come with several issues and several initiatives. And in fact, President Obama, in his speech, the, the infamous Joe Wilson speech, the You Lie speech, he mentioned some Republican ideas there as far as competition across state lines for these insurance companies. Try to go with some of the re regulation measures that make sense, that don't en endanger people, that would allow competition to come into play. Because the true matter with health care is the cost of health care. Right now what this, these proposals are doing is that they are going to allow more people to be covered, but they're not addressing the real issue, which is cost. So at some point in time, either the government's going to pay for these people and everybody's going to get taxed, taxed them. which is one yeah. of the things that people missing. And I actually wrote about this on my piece on, on the root.com on Saturday, March, March the 13th, is that Obama said he was not going to tax the middle class. He said 95% of the Americans would That's not... Correct. That's yeah, their taxes increase. That was the so death the, of Bush too. Exactly. <laughs> that's, all, and that's exactly what I, I brought that up in the article. I said, "Does anybody remember <laughs> George H. W. Bush yeah. saying read my lips, no new taxes'? Yeah, right. That is at a time when a president who campaigned won a war, had an eighty-eight percent approval rating, and then subsequently raised taxes and lost to, to Bill Clinton. Now what you're looking at with President Obama, he's had electoral losses in two thousand nine, in two thousand ten. You have an unpopular health care bill where the Rasmussen reports have said let's either pair it back to where it is bipartisan the interstate competition no um, pre-existing conditions let's pair it back to where people agree and then build from there or let's start over I don't think that starting over is necessarily the right way there are there is already common ground built into the bill maybe you pair it back there but the, the challenge that President Obama is facing is this if he enacts this bill and these taxes go up on the middle class in during the Great Recession and he goes back on that principal campaign promise, the rhetoric could come around and bite him. Now, the saving grace for him right now is, who is that Republican presidential candidate yeah, yeah. that can really do something with him? Now, my, my, my dark horse theory that I actually raised on the Daily Caller, which is Tucker Carlson's site, was that somebody like an Evan Bayh runs in the primary against President Obama as a conservative Democrat, weakens President Obama through the primary process, and subsequently a Republican picks him off, such the same way that happened with Jerry Ford with Jimmy Carter, or Jimmy Carter with Ronald Reagan. And Mick Romney is well, one of the front runners mm -hmm. as well. I'd and like with an economic background, right, that may make sense. The house. Yes, Danny, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I would like to say this because we're...